Hello, I'm Dog Boy Malone. And from the moment you were born, you start to learn stuff. Well, my mind has certainly changed since I was a lad. Now, when I was a lad, I used to walk to school with this great guy called Lee Hamilton. And he was a lovely chap. And he told me that one day, computer graphics would get so good that I would actually think um, that it was real. And I thought it was crazy for that, you know? It was absolute madness. But guess what? He wasn't crazy at all. In fact, um, he was actually onto a winner. And I haven't seen Lee for a long time. I mean, I missed the guy. He was a nice guy, you know? But I always remember the fact that he said, um, graphics are going to be that good there, Mark. You wait and see. Time for some uh, supplies. And of course, I don't want to speak on an empty stomach, so I thought I'd get some bread. Um, I know brown bread's the hybrid, um, but I prefer white bread, I prefer the taste. Uh, I'm not a, a breadist. And also I picked up some apple juice as well. Got my supplies, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> so I have some toast and um, I'll continue with my little chat. Look, Lukey Poos! How are you there, Lukey? Tired. I'm missing you. And a day of football. Where have you been? Oh, I've been chilling out. Really? Been miserable, yeah. Yeah, so um, you're keeping well? You're having a nice day? No, I've had great mosaic nerve and I'm a miserable shit. I just caught that spare wheel, otherwise, I'd... yeah, I didn't realise that was you. Did I watch what? That headshot, that Blu ray. Um, I haven't watched it yet, but you've just reminded me of it, so I'm going to watch it. Half one, Chelsea Arsenal. And then four o'clock, Man United Everton. You had your head, yeah, but yeah. Oh, I, tried to, I tried to look again. my best there, Luke, you know. Again. I want to look good for the public, you know. Some learning I'm going to get my Millennium Falcon out later there, Luke. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm going to get the drone out on it and uh, get some good shots, hopefully, because uh, John's trying to get off the planet Zog, isn't he? And obviously, we need to get him off Zog there. You know that, don't you, Luke? But once John gets off a of Zog, it'll be fine. How's work? We'll hook up soon. Well, I'll see you later, Luke. It's been I a pleasure. I'm not going to dodge you like that. Don't get your hopes up. You take care and I'll see you soon, buddy. I'll see you later, Mark. To be completely Luke, honest. Look at the state of these trainers that you've sold me. You've had them for two years. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, come on. I don't know how you still wear them. Well, I've got nothing else to wear. Oi, right. Mark. Right. Me. I'll see you later, Lukey. Cool. Have a good day with your mates. Well. Bye, Lukey. What a guy. And Luke is uh, an incredible guy. You can see him in a few of my videos. Um, and he knows a lot about graphics and the way they've changed over the years. Um, so really, I should have asked him about graphics, but I was in a bit of a rush, you know. It was quite important that I got back because um, I had some Ray-Bans that were coming through. Uh, I don't know if they're real or fake, but I really needed to uh, make sure I got them, so I was in a bit of a rush. Hi honey, I'm home. Well, the uh, Ray-Bans weren't there, so I was a little bit upset about that. Uh, I had a little look around by the actual toaster, but no, they weren't there. Um, but it brings me back to the conversation earlier about graphics and how they've improved so much. I mean, I used to play on this sort of stuff, and I thought these graphics were really good. But Lee was right. I mean, nowadays, graphics are a little bit more like this. 
uh, and that's pretty impressive. Anyway, I decided that I'd have some uh, vitamins because I was um, in need of some good quality nutrients. So I grabbed the closest thing I could that resembled vitamins. And they're pretty good too as well. Um, I mean, they're quite large and they can get stuck in your throat and actually make you vomit sometimes. Uh, so I do take great precautions whilst taking my vitamins. Um, but they all went down pretty well this time, so I was rather pleased. Life's not always about vitamins. I mean, sometimes it's good to eat some good quality foods uh, to prepare yourself for uh, some great conversations about graphics and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna um, go and get some food. It's gonna be absolutely delicious, I think. I'm losing my voice a bit, aren't I? Here we go. And of course, losing your voice can suck because people can't understand what you're saying. But nevertheless, um, I had to have some food uh, because I was thinking a lot about how graphics have changed a lot. But also I was thinking a lot about how poor the graphics look on um, a lot of pictures of Earth from space. And, you know, mind you, the graphics are pretty good of like, um, you know, the solar system and the universe. Uh, those graphics are pretty good. And I think it's very important to have good graphics uh, when you're looking out into space because it's more convincing, isn't it? Uh, however, the pictures of like, you know, Earth from space, from the moon and stuff like that, I mean, that looks pretty crap if you ask me. So I just don't, I don't understand why NASA doesn't really get into, um, you know, maybe, maybe some really cool sort of games companies and that can help them out a little bit. But also, they need someone that can really help them out um, with the International Space Station. Uh, now, I know this guy called John, uh, and he'd actually be very good um, if we could get him off of Zog, because he's stuck on Zog at the moment. That's a panic, by the way. And indeed, John knows all too well about the tricks of NASA. Um, and here is a few shots of John uh, when he wasn't stuck on Zog having a great day. He just got back from a trip from uh, Uranus. So really, it sort of comes down to your attitude. When someone says um, about planets and outer space to me, I sort of look at the pictures, if they show me, and I, I sort of look at them and I think, well, you know, that just could be a load of rubbish, couldn't it, really? Uh, and I say that to them sometimes, and they don't like it at all. In fact, they're rather displeased when I sort of say that stuff. But you know, it's quite good fun to say things like that. Uh, and I quite enjoy the um, conversations that I have with people. Uh, you know, they love these great big films that Hollywood make and that. And then they say, well, well, it is all true out of space because, you know, have you not seen the uh, live feed from the ISS? And, um, you know, have you not seen all the pictures? And have you, have you not seen the astronauts and that? And I think to myself, wow, you know, you're just looking at a load of images and you're just believing what you've been told. Um, and, you know, that's fair enough. But at the end of the day, it could be fake, couldn't it? And if you really look into it, you'll see there are a few... Um, anomalies that uh, we can bring up here. I mean, for example, you know, we've been to the moon like six times, and that's pretty impressive, but we've not been back, and, you know, we, we can't actually find the footage and all that either. And, the, the, you know, the players, if we could, don't work properly anyway, or, or we don't know how to do it. So, you know, it's quite a big thing in history, that getting to the moon, you know, especially uh, six times. But we can't actually, um, 
you know, play it anymore. So, you know, straight away the old alarm bells start ringing. And when the actual alarm bell starts sort of ringing, that's usually when your brain starts saying, hmm, something might be wrong here. And that's when you actually look into it a bit, you know. Um, the old chestnut, uh, ignorance is bliss. You know, that's true. But um, condemnation without investigation is ignorance. So have a little bit of a think about that. I mean, really, who in their right mind wants to um, appear ignorant? Uh, because, you know, you're just going to look a bit daft uh, in front of people that actually know stuff. So, you know, try not to be too ignorant and always try looking into things just in case you're probably wrong. And I say I'm probably wrong with the kindest of uh, intentions because, you know, I don't want you to be wrong, do I? I want you to be be correct and, and to be right. You proud of yourself? I'm proud of you. And I was proud of John, very proud indeed, um, because he'd stopped looking into Wikipedia so much. I had to explain to John that um, Wikipedia is when you've got 100 people and one of them's an absolute expert and the other 99 are absolute idiots. Um, but they get the vote, so they get the say. So John's not really looking into Wikipedia so much anymore. Anyway, I decided to go back and get some more bread because I wanted a, the best of both, really. I uh, wanted a nice white taste um, and I wanted the nice quality, nutritious, sort of like brilliant stuff that you get with um, brown bread. So I went for 50-50. I also um, decided that I'd buy myself a few beverages for the evening. And I do like the occasional uh, beverage of an evening. But of course, always be very careful on the amount of units that you actually uh, consume because the liver is a, a very important organ and you want to look after it. So there you go. That's pretty much all I've got to say about computer graphics and the, the way they've advanced over the years. And also the way that um, pictures of space and, you know, pictures of Earth from space are a little bit dodgy. But hey, look into it. Don't take my word for it. Look into it and, you know, see what you think. But anyway, um, I want you to have a good time until uh, the next time we meet. Well, we probably won't meet, but the next time you see me, um, take care, be good, God bless, and goodbye.